from the first letter of John. And this is the testimony. God gave us eternal life. And this life is in his Son. Whoever has the Son has life. Whoever does not have the Son does not have life. I wonder what sort of life we think that the writer is talking about. Before me I can see life, I can see some foxgloves, I can see a bee going in to collect uh, pollen or nectar from the plant. All of life teeming in front of me. And this is just a tiny example of the magnitude of life itself. Great in its magnificence. But the life that Jesus gives, the life that is in the Son of God, is life itself, in its fullness, in its glory, in its beauty. It's resurrection life, life that is not to be conquered by death any longer. It's a new kind of life. That's why Christians talk about being born again when they come to know that love and life of God in their own lives. Every time we see something beautiful, a kind action, a thoughtful deed, every time we see justice being done, peace being pursued, people being reconciled, these are all symbols and pointers to the kingdom of God, that kingdom of justice, love and peace that we see around us. And that kingdom, that reign, will come to fruition at the end of time. But for now, the testimony is this, God gave us eternal life, and that life is in his Son. If we want to know life in all its fullness, we need to look to God and to his Son, Jesus.